Right, we're going to accelerate a little bit. So, find the, find the, <laughs> I really, literally didn't mean that. Find the time for the maximum height. This is the what am I going to do with this? I don't have any time anywhere in these equations. Go back. What should I do? Okay, so I'm going to rewind, and I'm not, we're not going to go through the algebra here, but I'm just going to write my first line for you. So this is for part C. Um, I'm going to come back to this. This guy over here, right? And because now I've got a different goal, not this anymore, right? I'm going to say, since our goal is related to time. Okay. So, once you've uh, brought time into play, you're fine. Okay, by the way, I actually could have if I wanted to. Like, I've got two statements here, two expressions of notation, that both have time in them. I've got this one and I've got this one. I really could have used either, because I know about the displacement and I know about the velocity. But there's an obvious reason why I should choose this one. Namely... Yeah, I only need to integrate once to make this useful, whereas I've got to integrate this twice and there's going to be another constant. I don't have enough information. So this... Where it's going to go, I will get you, uh, let's go, I'm going to give you some of the working, okay, just so you can confirm for yourself when you work this all out. You're going to eventually get this. Mm, what have I got here? 50G, yep. Okay, you're going to get this. Now, don't worry about that negative 50 on the top. It's just the constant that I can take out if I like. Look carefully what family of functions is this going to integrate up into. Yeah, very good. So this tiny difference here, see using v dv on dx versus using dv on dt, okay? You've got a a squared plus x squared situation, okay? So after you integrate and you sort out your constant integration, this is what you should land on. This is what I did. Um, I think it's, what is it, 50 on, yeah. 50 on g. What have I got? I think this is actually the. Sorry? Like, every time you get a disgusting answer, you're like, oh, I'm doubting myself now. Oh, don't worry. You get used to it. You get used to it. And I've got to be really disgusting. Yeah, it's not even this. This should be the capital. That was totally right. That is correct. Doesn't that have the, the vibe of, oh, of course that is. How nice and neat and lovely. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. Now, here, I'm just going to comment on the rest of this because we are, we are getting to that time, right? Um, X double dot for the downward journey, okay? Think about how we define X double dot for the upward journey and then think about what's going to be different. This, these are both going to be different, okay? These are both going to be different. So I'm going to let down be positive, and I'm going to choose a new origin as well, right? So the, the particle's gone up, and then it stops, and I'm going to call that my new origin, and then off it goes. So the way I would start this, and maybe you want to write this down, is I'm going to say let down be positive, and OB, okay, what should I call it? It's not the point of projection. H. It's the maximum height. Yeah, that's where I'm. That's where I'm going to start off again, right? Be the maximum height. Okay. Now keep in mind. Now you remember when we were talking about oh, the ground. Okay. In the first situation, where is the ground? What x coordinate? What x value is the ground? X equals zero, right? Because that's the point of projection. Under this new scheme, where is the ground now? X is going to be, it's going to be a positive value because it's below me and the distance is, the magnitude of that is H, right? Yeah, so it'll be X equals H, okay? So once you do this, this is going to be very similar, right? What will be different? Uh, you'll have different, you'll have a negative inside for the resistance. Okay, so, so here, gravity, right? Gravity's always pointing down, but I've redefined down as positive, right? So this guy out the front is going to be not negative 1g but 1g. What about air resistance? It's still yeah. not negative. Air resistance is still against you. Air resistance will always be negative. Okay? So this is going to be take away 0.02 v squared. Okay? And that's going to be my um, my one. Okay. Now 
I've got a question for you. Do you want me to comment on these two, or just let you have a go at them? Because I can, I can post this up. Let me just ask you this. Okay, well, I'll just comment on it. You have to get an impact fit. It ends up being a similarly terrible expression like this. Very, very messy. Okay. I want to ask you about this. This guy here, right? Do you think your impact speed will be faster or the same or slower than your initial speed? Faster. Impact speed versus. I think it's. Yeah, maybe you could just get the window just for the next two minutes. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Do you see something like. Yeah. Yeah. When x equals h. When x equals h. That's for sure. Just push. Yeah, there we are. See, this body is worthy now, so. <laughs> yeah, ready. This one here? Yeah, it's a solvent. Yeah. I haven't finished yet. I've just got. This is the. Yeah, this, and board as well. Okay, now let me tell you. Let me tell you what the answer is, and then you can confirm it with the algebra. I'll give you the intuition. Impact speed is less than initial speed. Impact speed is less than initial speed. Now I want you to think back to projectile motion. Oh, right. Now for projectile motion, think, 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 think. In projectile motion, we deliberately ignored air resistance, right? Under that perfect, nice, symmetrical, parabolic situation, right? Your initial speed and your impact speed were identical right Just all the speed you lost on the way up you get it exactly on the way back down okay now tell me think 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 why does this mean i have to be slower okay remember when i wrote this and when i wrote this right on both the initial journey and on the return journey you're losing speed because of air resistance right both times, you slow down the first time, and then you slow down again, okay? It's not a huge amount, but it's enough, okay? So I'll post that solution this afternoon. You can go have a look at it. You sort of the algebra before you look at it. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow morning.